Welcome to the Smart Board Revolution Global Virtual Group User Group Special Edition, Smart Survival Guide. This episode is using the Attachments tab to collect digital resources for your lessons. And I'm your host, Matt Granger. So, what does that mean? We know that our Attachments tab is over here, or, again, if you have yours on the other side, over here. So, the right or the left, but that's where our Attachments tab is, depending on which side you keep your tabs on. So, in the Attachments tab, you can add web links or files. Now, I don't have anything attached here, but I'm going to go to another lesson that I have. So, this one is a, a lesson that I created, place value to 1,000. Now, when I'm using this lesson, there are certain things that I want to have available to me. And I don't know about you, but I have, you know, this folder on this computer with some stuff in it. And then I've got my user folder, my network folder with stuff in it. And I have PDFs and video clips and Word documents and other notebook files and all kinds of things, different file types all over the place that maybe would go with whatever this topic is but that's the problem they're all over the place so I find that the attachments tab is a great way to start organizing these digital resources so for example for this lesson I've actually gone through and I exported so from the file menu export as a PDF so I exported this whole file to give the teacher kind of an overview of what the file is in this file one of the pages just jump ahead here as you go through the lesson file you're going to be playing a game you do some smart response questions kind of a pre-assessment but then you're going to come to a page here and you're going to play called the trading game. So this page is used on the board to demonstrate how to play the trading game. So it's a flash file, you roll the dice for these are infinitely cloned, drag out four red and then it's the other person's turn or the other team they would have their own board but you keep going so now it's our turn again so we move two and so now we have one two three four five six and then it's our turn again we roll the dice we get six and one of the rules that you talk about is you can't have more than nine if you get 10 or more, you have to trade it for one of the next one. So we've got, I think we have more than 10, more than 9 here. So let's see, 1. So there's 10. I can't have more than 9. So every 10, I have to trade for one of the next one. So I can select those now, delete those 10, and bring down one of these and then we keep going so this page right here is for you to actually play the game show how the games played on the board but then we want the students to actually do it instead of just one person two people whatever at the board we want everybody doing it so in the attachments tab we have a page called let's play the trading game so it's a copy of that page I saved it uh, when I printed it out or when I saved it as a PDF, I saved it just like in PowerPoint where you can save it with the notes or the lines for notes. So now the students have this mat to play the game and then here they're supposed to figure out the rules and write the rules step by step what you do to play this game. So that file now created from printing one of these pages and turning it into a PDF, that file is here in the attachments tab. It's not going to be lost because I have this file and it's with that file.
Now this one has all of the pages, if you notice. And right here, this page, cut these out to play the trading game. So you cut out the one yellow. You cut out these ten green, because that's all you'll ever need for the game. You cut out those individual reds. Now they have the first page with the board and then you give them a page from here with the pieces that they cut out now they play the game and right and all these resources are kept right here and then later they actually play the game using place value blocks right to make the connection between the rules and when they write these rules right they're gonna be exactly the same except instead of colors they're using ones tens and hundreds um, so they were doing math all along, go figure. But then in this file, there's also a page where they can cut out these pieces to use then for when they play the trading game on here with their partners, with their groups. It's a great way to add all of your, your digital resources, keep them all together with your notebook file, Word documents that you use, scan the uh, workbook pages or whatever that might go with it, turn them into PDFs and put them in there. That way you've got it right there. Print out your one master and then you can go make your copies of. Um, if there's a website that you want to go to, you can also insert... So I've inserted that link. It may not be some place that I actually want to click to from the lesson, from the file, from anywhere within the notebook. But maybe I know, hey, you know what? This page is good. If I need it, I can get to it quickly. So I can put it in there. I come to it in the Attachments tab, double-click on it, and we're in. That's how you can use the attachments tab to organize all this digital content for your lessons so you've got your one lesson and then all of the content that goes with it another way you could use it is you could actually create a unit lesson file with you know lesson one is about this lesson two is about this and then in your attachments tab you could actually put all of those specific lesson files for each of them so now you've got your whole unit saved within this one notebook file kind of your master file with all the lesson page for each lesson kind of an overview maybe and then you can from there you can just come and open up all of your lessons so whichever one you're on so that keeps everything in one place so join us for our monthly Spurgvug meetings around the first of each month. All that information can be found at smartboardrevolution.ning.com. You can find the current schedule for the next meeting. You can find links to the previous meeting recordings. This has been the Smartboard Revolution Global Virtual User Group Special Edition Smart Survival Guide about using the Attachments tab to organize your digital content within a lesson file. And this is your host, Matt Granger, signing off.